Krishna card just complicates things. Respect. Show me the respect. That was really weird. Just try and get old chips. That sucks so bad. Mm -hmm. not what I think sometimes. Which should this hand really bad? So sick. So brutal. Group B is off and running for this third match. And this is exciting on a lot of levels, not least because next to a poker hero of mine, Eric Seidel. Eric, I don't, I've never really heard you talk much about poker before. Are you looking forward to, to being on this side of the, the table? Yeah, I am. Um, you know, I'm particularly curious about these matchups because uh, you have so many uh, really, really excellent players that play at a very high level at this table. Um, and the third match, of course, uh, you know, it, it starts to get exciting because the points come into effect. Uh, so I'm very curious to see how things go. This group, different than your group, Group A, uh, in the early levels has featured a lot more three betting and even four betting, even in the first two levels. Um, although right now here we have a an open from Scott Seaver. This could be really dangerous, yeah, because uh, I think Tom played this very quietly. Uh, and he, he, it, it, it's very possible this, ha this uh, could get very big. I mean, you also, I think in your third match, uh, sort of regarded the tens in the first level more as a, a set mining sort of pair than a, than a big pair. And because Wilanowski has just oh, two oh. points, you know, you you kind of think he's going to be taking chances early. Yeah, well, I mean that that's the problem for Tom here is that uh, I think that he has to suspect that uh, Ben may be making a play uh, just because of the situation. So this could be a very troublesome situation for him. The re-raise three bet size is quite large up to twenty-two thousand. I mean, we've already got a big pot here and. With Tom being in position, if it comes a low flop, wow! Kind of the end of Willinowski. Are, are, I mean, do you think if you're Willinowski, you're actually not feeling bad about getting? This is a, such a difficult spot for him to be in because yeah, you've got the two clubs there. Uh, so it's it's really hard for him to you know to, not to lose a lot of chips on this one. And he's, you think he's taking this a check call line here or a, a check raise line? I think he's looking to check raise. Tell me what you know about the way Tom Dwan plays. What's his strengths, I mean? Uh, well, I mean, Tom, he doesn't miss anything. He's very aggressive. Uh, you know, he's really one of the standouts of the young guns. Ben Wilanowski, so impressive in the qualifiers. Uh, in many ways, the unlucky man in this Group B so far. And he's just gone for a call here. I mean, this is the kind of, when you're doing this, are you sort of looking to reevaluate the turn? Like if it comes, you know, a big club or something, you can give it up. And you can't give it up now, can you? He's, a very, he's in a very interesting spot. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, he's, he's taking a funny line here because if he bets out, if he, if he, Bet out originally, um, there's a chance he can get off it. At this point, I, you know, I think it's very difficult for him uh, if he can, you know, if he can get away from this. It would really be, it would really be a great laydown. At this stage, Tom is just pretty much going for stacks. Seventy-two. I mean, it, if you're Tom, you're not even thinking to yourself, well, if he has ace-king, I want to check back and try and get a bet on the river. You just you just go for it? Yeah, I mean, this is really the critical spot for Ben. He's got to figure out if he's beat and throws it away. You know, it would, it would really be a nice lay down. We were talking uh, several times uh, throughout the heats in this group that Tom has this reputation uh, where he just gets action all the time. But that said, uh, in the, the two heats so far, he hasn't really pulled off any monster bluffs. He hasn't made these big three-barrel things with no hand. Essentially, he's played he's played rather tight. Right. Which, yeah. which, which doesn't mean that he's not capable, I guess. Right, right. Well, that's, that, that's one of the things that makes him so difficult to play against because he is capable of playing so fast. And uh, it, it's hard really to, t oh, this is a bad card for, uh, for, ben, bad card for, ben. for, for ben because it, it just makes it, 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 it makes him think it's less likely that, that Tom has 
uh, that, that Tom flopped us at. Now, Wilanowski has about 170,000 back. Obviously, it's the first hand, so uh, the all-in bet is, is probably the bet. Do you ever call the turn and fold this kind of blank river? Oh, yeah, that does happen for sure. I mean, it, you know, Ben certainly seems to have a sense that he's in, he's in some trouble here. Um, but the, the spot that he's in is very difficult because he's playing against a guy who has a reputation for being super aggressive and, uh, and certainly might bluff in this spot. It's hard not to be sympathetic to Ben's situation <laughs> here. <laughs> it really is. I mean, he's just, he's just really t caught in a bad spot. That card just complicates things. He's had a miserable Premier League so far, Wilanowski. I'm sure he came in here thinking, just put a couple points on the board, put yourself in a position where you... There he oh, goes. Quads. Yeah. Oh, is that all? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's tough. That's really tough. That's so hard. All right, so n now he's in a position where he's, uh, is he completely out? He's it'll, it'll certainly depend on how the results today, but I'm sure Wilanowski will be.